Hello. Hello, my royal subjects. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's Queen Angela today, and we are on day 82 of drawing together. 82. And today I would like to invite you to my kingdom. And today we will be drawing a picture of my castle. So grab your paper and your pencils, your crayons, your markers, and your colored pencils, and let's draw my home, my castle, Queen Angela's home. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, I'm going to move this up so we can see it really well. And I'll move this down, even though my crown won't be in the picture too much. But let's get going. Now, here's what we're going to do first. We're going to draw the bottom of our castle. And we're going to draw it at a slight curve. So we're going to start way over here. We're going to make a very big castle. We're going to bring our line all the way over to about here. See how I've got a slight curve on it? You can make it straight. It doesn't matter. But I just decided that that's the way I want to make mine. Now, let's go ahead and start with the center of the castle. Let's go right here and make a line. And we'll make a line over here. And this is going to be the very front of our castle, like our front where our front door is. Okay? And then over here, let's make a tower. We're making kind of the lines that are going to go down. And then let's go ahead and make, make a line right across there. And let's make a tower over here, matching. I like both matching sides of my home. And let's make the top of it here. And you know what, just to make it fancy pants looking, let's do that. And now I didn't draw this one in the middle yet because I wanted these two to be a little taller. So I'm gonna bring this one down just a little tiny bit, just like that. And then I'll draw, I like those little lines. It kind of is like where they put different rocks to make, to make different heights of their building. So now we have our two towers and our middle. Now I would like a couple small towers on the side, little watchtowers so they can see when the enemy is coming. Now these ones are gonna be just a little shorter, just a little bit. Oh, I didn't do, I didn't connect even there, so now I'll just connect. We've got the basic bottom of our castle. Now let's build it up a little bit and put some extras on there. So up here, I want some towers because I really want them to be able to look out and make sure that when they see the enemy coming that they're ready. So let's make just a tall part of the house or the building here. Then we're going to put a top on it. See how I'm still doing a curve? And then we'll make a roof on it. Now it's looking more like a castle you're used to. And then over here, let's make the same thing and put a scoop on the bottom and then a point on the top. All right, we've got the beginnings of our castle now. Now up here, you always see guards walking around and they have to be able to look out, but they wanna be able to not fall off the edge too. So we're gonna put kind of this thing. It's kind of big blocks that they stand behind and they can also stand behind if they were to shoot bows and arrows kind of thing that they can hide behind these as protection. And then let's go ahead and put some more over here, maybe some smaller ones. Oop, that little one didn't really fit in there. And let's go do a couple more over here. All right, we've got our tower. Now let's put some windows on there. Now, if you've ever seen a castle, the windows are always up really high. Like when we're in our house, we can look right out of our, our downstairs windows, but they didn't put windows down very low because enemies could get in through their windows. So they didn't want windows really low in their castle. They kept them really high so nobody could sneak in. So let's put... Let's put some, well, first of all, let's put them right up here. And we're going to put a curve on the top of them. We're not going to make them like our windows. Or some people might have these windows. I shouldn't say that. So we're going to put a curve and then a bottom on it. And then let's put another window right here, kind of high up. Notice nobody could get in down there. We'll put a matching one over here. And then we will put, let's put some really tiny ones over here, little skinny ones that they could just kind of peek out of. How do you like those ones? Little tiny. Another little, two little tiny ones over here. And I'm even gonna put a couple right here. So they can be all over the castle any place and see out the windows. Now you gotta think about how are they getting in that? Now they usually only had one or two ways to get into a castle because they didn't want their enemies to sneak in. So we're gonna put a very, very big door here. And the reason it is a big door well, let's draw the door first, then I'll tell you. And then let's put, we did this the other day, we put some lines, we're gonna make it look like wood, and then we're gonna put those 
almost like knot holes in wood. You put just sprigly lines, a little, few little circles, and then it gives the illusion that it is wood. Now, the reason they did those big doors is because usually around their castle, they have something called a moat. And a moat is water. Sometimes in that water, they had some nasty animals that you wouldn't want to mess with. Not at all. But here's how they got in their building. Their door didn't open like ours that goes like this. Their door went down. And when their door came down, it went right across the moat. So it was like a bridge. So this door came forward and went over the ground or over the water. And then they could bring the horses or whatever they needed in. And then they'd shut the door back up. And so they were, it was a fortress, something very like safe for them. All right. Now, I think, our, I think we pretty much got this in order. Let's give it some grass here. We'll put a pretend line across and grass. And then we'll put a couple hills. But before we do the hills, I want to show you something, something kind of tricky. How to make it look like, you know those, um, they're like a triangle flag. And when they blow in the breeze, they, they look kind of wrinkly. Here's how you do that. You're going to put a square. See how I made a square just like that? Now I'm going to make another square just a little tiny bit behind it. And a little bit lower, just like that. Do you see how it is? I have a big square here and another square kind of behind it. And then I'm going to put a point on it. And it is going to look like a flag that is blowing in the breeze. So let's put another one of those flags over here. And a lot of times they hunt, they put flags up that would show their colors. Or so if somebody coming up from far away, they could look and see the flag and they would know if it was who lived there. You know, it's kind of like a, like a, you know, it tells people if you're enemy or if you're a friend, you know, what kind of flag you are flying. Kind of like those pirates we've been doing. I'd stay away from those pirate flags. All right, I think we have got this. Now let's go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw, oh, you know what I forgot before I put that marker away. I said we were gonna make hills and I didn't make any hills before I put it away. We're just gonna make a big hill back here. There we go, now we got it. Now I can put that away. Let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna do my door brown first. I don't know why I chose to do the door brown first, but I just, just want to. All right, so my home, my little castle. And then we will go ahead and I'm gonna do the windows in black. I'm just going to kind of sloppily fill them in black. You're going to take a lot more time with it. Now, when you're drawing your castle, you can do anything with it. You could put any extras on here you want. Remember, use your imagination. I just give you the basics and then you make it better. You could put a dragon coming into this. You could put a little a princess in the tower. Um, you could put knights. You could put horses. You can put an alligator in this mode if you'd like to. You do what you want to. You make sure it's a lot of fun and add all the extras in here. You could have a whole battle going on out here if you want to. Be creative. Be creative. Use that imagination you have. Now, let's go ahead. I'm going to draw my castle in gray. Just because I just think gray would be a good color. And you know, you know what? I'm going to jump back for a minute. If you want your castle to look like stone, like it's made out of stone, you can make just like this, kind of not, just kind of a squiggly, kind of half circle-y thing. And you can put that all over, and you don't have to put them all together. You don't have to put every stone that it took to build it, but you can put these in there, and then it looks like your castle is made out of stone, which all castles were made out of stone because that was a material they could get a hold of very easily. I should have put this on here earlier, but as I was starting to color, I thought, oh, I didn't put the stone on there. All right, so now we have it that looks more like stone. So let's continue drawing now. We can draw right over our stone, but at least it will give you the illusion of what our castle is made out of. There's going to be a lot of gray on here. You're going to be coloring gray for a while. I'm going to get up here in all these little spots. There we go. Do you know my crown? I say it's a real crown, but you know where I got it? I probably told you that one of these a long, long time ago, I told you way back in like video four or something, that in 2016, which is a little while ago now, 
my husband and I were the king and queen of the Allentown St. Patrick's Day Parade. And we got to go to a coronation ball. That's where they put the crown on you. We got to go to a coronation ball and all the people stood around and cheered and screamed and hollered for us. And they crowned us, they put these crowns. Just look how beautiful that is. They put these crowns on our heads and then we became king and queen of the parade. So the day of the parade, we got to ride in a carriage, a horse-drawn carriage. And we went down the streets of Allentown in the parade and we got to wave to everyone and say, hello, hello everyone. So it was a really, really special time. Something that I will always, always remember. It was fun. And now I have this lovely crown to always remember it too. I have it up on a very special shelf in my home with my pictures of when we were king and queen all around it. Now, yesterday we drew a lantern. And remember I told you if you push really hard with whatever you're coloring with, that you can get a darker color. Well, maybe we did our whole castle gray. Maybe you wanna go in and do, where we drew these little stones, do them a little darker and they will give, they'll stand out more. And then you'll really see them and it will really look like a stone castle. I'm trying to hurry. I put more stones on there than I thought. Now, I don't know if you could see this on the video, if it really shows up me pushing harder. And you could do this with anything. You can even do up here the, the tops of the castle. All righty. That is awesome. Now, I'm going to do, let's go ahead and just jump to, I think I'll jump to the water. I'm going to do the water all around here. Remember, when you're drawing, you can put anything in that water you want because this is a this is a fantasy picture. You can have anything in the water. You can have crocodiles, you can have piranhas, you can have anything. Now, as I say all these scary things, I'm kind of thinking, you know, if you wanted this to be more of a, uh, oh, I don't want to say girly because that's kind of telling somebody they can't do it this way. But um, if you want to make it more in pinks and purples and all that stuff and have it more like a, a fairy princess castle, you could do that too. You do not have to have a castle in gray. Your castle can be in purples and pinks and whatever colors you want. I'm just doing it more like a medieval castle. I'm trying to make it more the colors of a real castle. But oh, if you go to Disney, they have a white castle and a blue with blue roofs. And they have all these kind of cool flags on there too. All right, let's go ahead. I'm, since I'm talking about flags, I'm gonna color my flags in red. So there's a couple kids that draw with me that get very, very creative. They put all kinds of little, different little things in here. Um, so I'm waiting for them to see if they got horses and knights and all that kind of stuff. And, how, how about uh, if you have it like a princess one, could you have Rapunzel in one of those windows letting her long hair down? Oh my gosh, the ideas are endless. Endless with a castle. You can just have such a good time doing whatever you want to. I'm peeling back my thing a little bit. I'm gonna put light green down here in the grass. And I'm gonna get sloppy and just try to get this done because this is a lot of grass. Hopefully you guys have a little smaller piece of paper so it doesn't, you know, doesn't take you as long. This paper is so big, but I like it to be big so everybody can see what I'm doing. All right, and then I'm gonna take a darker green and I'm gonna do the top of the hills. Oh my goodness, I should have peeled it and just done it sideways. It would have been faster. But you get the idea. I'm painting the hill green. You're, you're gonna go a lot better. I think I've been saying this for 80, 80 what? 82, day, 82 days I've been saying, oh, you draw better than me, draw better than me, color better than me. But that's okay. Because most of the time when you send me the pictures, your coloring is beautiful. I'm like, oh wow, they, they look better than mine. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna color in between here. Now, if you want, you could also put some trees in here if you want to someplace. Now, usually they did not have trees right around their castle. They cleared all the ground around their castle. So that way, again, so the enemies couldn't climb in a tree and come up and join them or surprise them in the middle of the night. They tried to keep everything around their castle very clear. So that way they could see anything that might be dangerous for them. 
It must have been a very hard time to live because everything, you always had to watch out for your enemies. All right. Oh, my arm's tired. Whew. The queen shouldn't have to work this hard. All right, now let's do the sky blue. I'm going to do it very quickly, though. Just put a blue in here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The queen has a little raspy throat today. Oh, I can't get that thing in there. Okay, there we go. Now, I didn't do my roof color any color. Now, I don't know if I wanted a color. What color would it be? Maybe I will do it kind of a... Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're made out of wood. Maybe I'll do my roof in a brown color. So it's like a, a made out of wood. Okay, boys and girls, let's see your castle. Build me a royal castle today. And I, I would love to see them. I, you know, I always love to see them. And I would love for you to get more creative. Do more than just the castle. Put some extras in there. Put some people in there. Some horses, some dragons, some princesses and princes and, and queens and kings. And especially the queen. Okay, boys and girls. I'm going to give the royal goodbye to my royal subjects. And I thank you for joining me today. Do what I tell you every day. Be safe. Wash your hands. Be creative. Be kind. Oh, and listen to your parents. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I remembered that one. Your parents would miss that one if I forgot to say it. And we'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye.